Good morning children. Welcome back to your English classes. Today we begin with a new poem that is Meadow Surprises. So what do you mean by meadow? Meadow means a grass, green grass. Okay, meadow means that open grassland what we have a piece of green grassland. This poem is written by Lewis Brand Phillips. So let me tell you a brief introduction about this poet. See, this is the picture of Lewis Phillips. Lewis Phillips, a widely published poet, playwright and short story writer, has written 45 books for children and adults. Broadway Play Publishers has published the full-length plays, The Envoy Messages and The Last of the Marx Brothers Writers. They also published plays a collection of comic one acts. Three full length plays, 16 points of hurricanes, compass, these are all his public published books, okay? The Ballroom in St. Patrick's Cathedral and Man of War were published by Aaron Press. Philip's most recent play publication are Late Night in the Rainforest, The Death of the Siamese Twins, and other plays and Gertrude Stein in Dayton and other plays. He also wrote the audience book of theatre quotations. Phillips teaches at the School of Visual Arts in New York City. So this is a brief introduction about the poet Lewis Phillips. So Lewis Phillips has written the poem Meadow Surprises. Why? To focus on the things that nature provides to us. The poet warns the people of the earth to listen and observe what surprises nature has provided to us, isn't it? Nature has provided us with different things. So, the poet wants the people of the earth to listen and observe what nature has given to us. He wants his reader to feel the beauty of nature. In this poem, he had emphasized the surprises that nature has provided to us. So, in this poem you will see, he has emphasized on such things what the nature has provided to us. Is that clear? So, once I read the poem, you will find. You find here the chirping of the birds, the beauty of the, describing the beauty of the butterfly, hopping of the rabbit and the soft grasses, a person where a person can find peace by seeing this nature and go into very calm, relaxed way. Is that clear? So let's begin with the poem. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. So in this poem, the first line, meadows have surprises. That means the poet wants to tell that the various things that an observant person might notice in a meadow. Meadows have many, many wonderful sights if you observe carefully, isn't it? So, the poet telling that you keep your eyes and ears open as you walk through the meadow, through the soft grass by the following brook. So, if you look them carefully and if you walk softly, velvet grass, what do you mean by velvet? Velvet means very soft. And listen by the brook. The brook, what do you mean by brook? I'll show you. So, meadow means a piece of land covered with grass and surprise means that something unexpected. So, in this first stanza, meadows have surprises. If you find them, if you look, walk softly through the velvet grass. Here, find the adjective that is used for grass. Which is the adjective? Yes, velvet. See the beautiful describing word used for grass. Velvet means very soft grass. And listen by the brook. So brook means what? I'll show you. See, this is meadow. Okay. See, this is all the pictures of meadow. You can find open grasslands. Brook is a body of running water smaller than river. See, in the, which is the correct image of brook? The first one is what? That is a swimming pool. Second one is a pond. See, third, that last picture. Isn't it? That is a brook. This is a brook. 
so what the poet is telling it's called jarna a small stream so what the poet is telling a green field or a park has many surprises for us but the charm and the beauty can only be noticed if the people have a keen eye and a sharp ear if you look very carefully then only you can observe this now poet advises what that if you want to observe such thing you should walk softly through green grass and try to enjoy the music of flowing stream see the flowing stream of water is flowing so if you enjoy the music you will wait it will very pleases you it will please you the music of flowing stream you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up so one can also see if you pass through the meadows you may also notice a butterfly resting upon a flower see this flower is known as buttercup this is a wild plant see with yellow cup shaped flower so this is called as buttercup so you can see a butterfly resting upon a flower and what that butterfly is doing it's sipping its juice that means it's drinking the divine drink jo amrut hota hai phoolon ke beech mein that butterfly is sipping what do you mean by buttercup i explained you unfold means open from a folded position nectar a sugary fluid secreted within flowers see this is the buttercup see how butterfly is sipping now guess who is this picture which animal is this picture yes this is you may scan a rabbit who is sitting very still though at first you may not see him when he hops you will so it is also possible that you may frighten a rabbit when you walk through the meadows it is also possible that you may frighten a rabbit and the moment you move towards that rabbit what happens it make it run away isn't it and though at first you may not see him because see in this picture what i showed you can you if you are walking you won't see which animal is sitting there so you may not see at first but when you go the moment you go near to him he hops see beautiful picture of rabbit how is hopping and moving isn't it children yes so what do you mean by scare scare means lust like terror still see when you see a rabbit it won't be moving it would be nicely sitting there and the moment you go there you may frighten a rabbit and it make it a run away now next stanza huh? a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachute that flutter when you blow so even when you blow a dandelion flower see what, what the girl is holding in her hand that is known as dandelion flower this dandelion flower if you blow it what happens its fluffy parts fly in the air its fluffy parts all the parts that fly in the air and it flies when it flies it looks like it has turned into parachutes that flutter when you blow see the dandelion flower and when you blow up see how the in the next picture image you can find the moment you blow this dandelion flower it moves it flies as a it looks like a parachute isn't it children so fuzzy means covered with small piece of fuzz material what i showed you and flutter means to fly blow to exhale visibly so when you blow it see one part is moving as if it is going it is like looking like a parachute see so many parachutes flying so these are the images of dandelion dandelion is a flower all of you understood this stanza moving on to next explore the meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath tall grasses the ants amazing mound so even when you as you walk through the meadows the green fields the meadows have a number of houses now which houses you are talking we are talking about the poet the poet is talking about 
like burrows in the ground or the birds nest under tall grasses or amazing ant hills have you seen ant hill yes jo kid makode ke jo ghar hote hain but you can only discover them when you can see all these things if you look for them very calmly very kindly and you lend your ears to them if you have to keep your in the very introduction i told you know if you want to observe the beauty of nature you have to keep your eyes and ears open then only you will be able to find what the nature has given so if you see the burrows in the ground see the trees the nest these all are the burrows in the ground the ant hill see kede ka ghar makode ka so these all are ant hill houses oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover these yourself if you look and listen well so this is the last answer what i explained you that if you want to discover all these things you can only discover them only if you look for them kindly and you lend your ears to them then only you will be able to discover all these beautiful surprises what the meadows what the nature has given to us is that clear so these are the this is a very beautiful short poem by lewis philip he wants to tell you about what nature has given to us but in this today's busy world we hardly look out for such things we hardly care for the nature isn't it many of you are busy with your daily routine work you don't get time to look at the nature around us but if you listen carefully you would enjoy the different sounds produced by the animals by the birds and the nature around us so i hope you all have understood this poem so you can write this poem in your notebook